So this is what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to uh, try to get my buddy's uh, 1973 Chevelle uh, running. We're going to have to jockey uh, some vehicles around. I'm not sure how well the, uh, the lighting is in here right now, but it's uh, the 1973 Chevelle SS. Uh, 454 four speed. Uh, gold package with the black stripes and all that. All original. Um, we'll show you a little bit more about this car when we pull it out. Like I said, we're just going to move some vehicles around and work on this thing. It was my buddy Rick's father's car. I do believe he purchased it new in uh, 1973 in Nipua, Manitoba. I think uh, it has around 58,000 miles on it, so it's pretty low. I think it was a fairly optioned car. I do have the build sheet at home. And uh, we'll go a little bit about that and uh, talk to you a little bit about that. But uh, I think we're just going to spend some time and move some of this crap around and uh, start uh, figuring out what we're going to do. See you in a bit. Yeah, I'm good on my side. I thought you wanted to uh, drill. Yeah, roll, roll. Hey. Oh, fuck. Are you going to kind of kind of keep it tight to the ranch here? Sure. I think hey. that should be suffice. Should be a lot narrower than the Okay, so we uh, managed to uh, jockey a few of the vehicles around. Uh, we're going to try to uh, get this thing going. I bought a full uh, tune-up kit for yesterday. Points, condensers, spark plug wires, all the stuff. Uh, I'm not sure when the last time this thing's ran. It does turn over and everything, so it's basically it's a Chevy, so it shouldn't be too, too difficult to figure out. <laughs> you laugh, but it's true. Uh, this car is a very well optioned car. I have the build sheet at home. Um, I will uh, Later on, we'll show you, but it's actually a pretty optioned car. It's pretty neat. Uh, like I said, 454, uh, Muncie 4 speed, uh, 12 bolt. I think it has a 342 gear, not posi. Uh, it does have swivel seats, we'll show you in a minute. The interior is actually a, rigid, a really nice shape. It just needs a good cleaning after sitting for so long. Uh, it does have rust in the rear quarters, but uh, that's all right. I think we're just going to maybe try to do like a roadkill style vehicle. Just do all the brakes and everything and uh, go through and make sure everything's safe. hard to see in here but the uh, original gold is just immaculate like I said it's my uh, buddy Rick's uh, car and it's his father's car and uh, I think Art took pretty good care of it minus the rust but I think they all rusted uh, there anyway even one of the neat features from the 70s swinging seats It's hard to see, but it's even one of those old uh, velvet faded uh, Hearst T handles from way back in the day. There's not much uh, velvet left on it, but it's a pretty neat piece from back in the day. And uh, I say let's get to work and uh, see what we can do with this thing today. It's going to be uh, over a period of time. I've ordered, uh, or I will be ordering some more parts for it uh, next week, but. Uh, I figured uh, it's time to get working on this thing, so hope you enjoy this video. All right. <coughs> yeah, they're just changing the, the the plugs and the wires in this guy here. 
uh, it's got what 55,000 original miles on it. Yep. And I guess really bad valve cover gaskets. Yeah, they sure leaked pretty good on this guy. And all original, no one's uh, played with this car. Except for the guys from Penny's Hot Rods and Customs now. Mm -hmm. Cheap plug. This is a really bad setup because you got that control arm right in the way. You should mention the guy who owned it art was quite a character. Lived well into his 80s. We, we've had a visit from him every once in a while. He'd always tell us about this car and tell us stories. Unfortunately, I forgot most of them. Yeah, we always go for ice cream. If you look in one of the pictures, there's actually the Dairy Queen in the back ground where we'd always go. Should have bought a four door Dodge. <laughs> you like the Chevy's art. in the seats, no rips, mouse holes, or anything in the headliner. Just faded paint and dust. At least it didn't have a Landau roof on it. Yes. That would not be very cool. Hey, that finicky one is done. All right. Definitely out. Hey Corey, yeah. you got either a little, was a 916 wrench? Yeah. Or I can hold it, I guess. I'll just try to jam it. That's right. fine. <laughs> Plugs and plug wires, cap, rotor. Points were cleaned. Yeah, headlights work. That needs. Okay, make sure you put, we'll put your foot on the clock, Jay. Okay. Turn it over. Give me a screwdriver, or uh, give me a wrench, we'll tie the battery cables. We're not filming this, are we? Yes. I hope not. Well, pretty good. Yeah, right, here's uh -huh. We're editing this out, aren't we? I but I lie, it's half inch. We're editing Definitely. this out, aren't we? Yeah. Half inch, please. Oh, blower motor works. I don't even know the AM stations. Go to 1290. Turn the heater off. Hey, Kevin. Turn You're killing the battery. Turn the heater off. I won't kill the battery. <laughs> also, just in case, well, I guess the clutch isn't slipping. It's always just started in neutral. It's in neutral. And just in case the clutch ever is sticking. Hey, of course, you put the on the clutch, too. But just, you always worry if the clutch is ever seized up. Oh, Ryan's got wrenches in the back of his truck. Okay. Those right. are all metric and there's not even a 13. Oh, oh, oh. Now the next <laughs> Okay, so, uh, plugs, wires, cap, rotor, the, uh, have all, have all been replaced. The points have been, uh, taken out and cleaned. Um, we tested, we got spark at, at the uh, plugs, so we're good to go. We cranked it over a bit just to get some oil pressure. Change the engine oil and filter. Yes. Well, at least you get better. Yeah. I don't give a shit. You got a fuel pump, but at least you got a better pickup unit. Yeah. Them. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah, and we're not going to run it with the gas in the tank because we don't know how well that is or the lines so we're just gonna fill the carb up attempt to attempt to and uh no we don't see how things blow up i meant to bring my little funnel or, like, i have a point of carbs What's that, Kev? Nah. Might take more gas than that, too. 
I don't think he can take the kill. Oh yeah, can keep going. Glove block, uh, block blade even work. Yeah, headlights turned right on. Original polyglass tires. Do you want to try the back uh, the interior too? Mm -hmm. Oh no, maybe not that one. Yeah, I guess maybe that one should be fine. Do you want to try putting any down gas down the carburetor too, or? Yes. Once ago. It might uh, take more fuel too, eh? Okay. It runs. It's alive. Fairly quiet. Idling? It's idling. No uh, smoke out the back. Take the get I tried to put gas in the tank. Um, we're gonna see if it's just charging. I can't believe it doesn't shake. That's yeah, charging. That's yeah, charging. It doesn't shake or nothing. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. You can rest up a bit. Nah, right there. Yeah. Right oh, right I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hit it again or no? Nah. Shut her off. Gear down. I think this is a win today. It doesn't. Fuck it. I almost got tilted. It won't work. Or... No, I know that, but uh, the, wheel, the wheel seems down though. So, so we just put uh, gas in the carburetor and in we uh, put some gas in the tank as well. own power. I just smelled a bad gas. Yeah. yeah, it's all bad gas coming out of it. And what you see is there is just old uh, gas. Yeah, it's going to be running off the tank now.
Okay. Gonna take this thing just for a block, or just a ride, just on the highway and then back into the shop. It's moving under its own power. We're not going far. We're just seeing if it, uh, how everything works. Brakes are kind of spongy. Hey Jeff, you want to film it, or you got your phone or no? Seatbelt buzzer is annoying. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take the attempt to take this on the highway. Not far. Nope. Yeah, I see. I, I see. We're not gonna beat on this thing. We're just gonna go for a nice little drive. First time this thing's moved under its own power, eh? Pack's working. I apologize for the little buzzer lights going. Let's see if it hits second gear. Second gear. I don't want to go too far. And too fast because the tires are. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Original. Yeah. Good call, Chris. It seems to idle nicely. Let's see if the seatbelt buzzer thing goes off. No, that did not make a difference. Oh, yeah, there's not much for brakes. That's why, because of my seatbelt. Ah. Uh, we are now safe. You're saying there's not much left for brakes. No, we're not doing a burn. Doing a Back it in? Yeah. Seems idle by itself, but now I just gotta figure out why I uh, can't get into reverse. Could just be maybe one of the linkages are binding. That always happens. All right, we uh, took this car for a ride today. Um, everything seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. This week I'll uh, order, uh, change the master cylinder, do all the brakes and everything, I think later on this week. So we'll have an upcoming video about that and uh, we'll just keep showing videos of getting uh, this car back on the road. Uh, so far everything's been pretty easy. Like I said, I think it was well taken care of. And uh, it, the car actually shows for itself, so uh, 
you like a comment or uh, if you like what you see leave a comment and all that good stuff i'd like to hear from you there's going to be a lot more videos on this car coming up so uh yeah please like and subscribe tell your friends and uh we'll talk to you soon